Welcome to Massive Beers. <laughs> My name is Matt, and uh, we have a little bit of nerd sun stuff here. This is a little treehouse, treehouse barrel aged Belgian style quad, cold, cold. That's weird. Why you said that, Normand? Um, yeah, I don't know where this beer comes from. Okay, it comes from Sean from Nerd Sense. I sent him a box of beer. He sent a box of beer back. I unboxed it. This beer was there. That's simple. Um, I don't know the impetus of this beer and where this beer comes from. The reason why I say that is uh, about a year previous, I'm thinking maybe a little bit less, Stephen, we all know Stephen, he's very much in the beer tubing community, he sends a bunch of beers to a bunch of different people. He sent me Treehouse's Armand, I believe is what it was called, instead of Normand. Um, and that was their Belgian quad, their version of their Belgian quad, non-barrel aged. And I reviewed it, and I thought it was tasty as a beer, but it was really kind of weird. Didn't really come off as like a Belgian style quad to me. It was like kind of weirdly spiced as far as I was concerned, like almost like Jägermeister, -y, like Ricola kind of spiced. And um, and while I I enjoyed it, it wasn't really like a Belgian quad for me. I get this from Sean, and I, when I'm doing the unboxing, I'm like, I think I've had this or something like it, and Stephen clarified or cleared that up and said, oh, okay, you had that Armand thing, and now I'm thinking this might be the barrel age version of that because of timing. Again, I don't know. We're going to review it and see what's what, because that's what we do. So we have Normand um, from Treehouse Brewing. This is a... Uh, Normand is our barrel-aged quad. It is rested for 12 months in select bourbon barrels, allowing it to transform into a characterfully beverage of individual and intrigue. Pouring a very dark ruby red in the glass, it carries notes of caramel chews, rich dark fruit, bourbon candy, and Belgian yeast esters. An homage to those we loved and lost. It's intended to accompany an aching nostalgia that can often accompany holiday celebrations. We have Don Draper stuff going on right now. Um, uh, share and enjoy with those you love and relish the present moment. Uh, vintage 2022 barrel aged quadruple will age gracefully up to 12 years. We encourage you to save one and compare future vintages. Otherwise, it's all right. It's kind of like trying really really hey, the focus on this sucks new spot but um it's trying really hard to be old school let's put it that way so let's crack in this can this go through the wax on here i don't know if i can just dig in there oh, i guess i can i get that oh, brute force i think i just want to brute force that sucker in there so we're half time at super bowl the eagles are losing i can't believe how lucky the eagles are you know Getting a hobbled Patrick Mahomes, you just hurt his ankle. It's just like insane. I haven't played anybody all year. It's just driving me insane. The Eagles. They're in my Super Bowl with no merit. Anyway, um, so yeah, label it is what it is. Beer wise, does that look like a Belgian quad? Yes. That's what we're going to say off the bat. Does it look like a barrel aged beer? Yes. It's got that kind of what you'd expect from a Belgian beer color on the head, that kind of malted malt ball kind of like tannish tannic kind of head to it but there's a softness missing from it now that could be the barrel aging more often than not you have this very fluffy creamy kind of head to a lot of belgian quads but you're talking about a barrel aged version so we will let that slide but it's quite dark it's more belgian dark than belgian quad let's put it that way good notes so when I did that straight non barrel aged version, the Armand, not that this is the same beer, it came off very spicy for me. Very much kind of like I said, Ricola slash Jagermeister kind of spices for me. This one comes off of quite a bit more traditional. There's just rich caramels, rich molasses, rich uh, figgy datiness, but it, it very much kind of barley wine-esque, but leaning a little bit into a bready component. So that's where it kind of gets that Belgian kind of vibe to me. And it has that sweetness that you tend to get from 
that beet sugar, that uh, that uh, Belgian candy sugar, in that it has a sweetness that's a little bit more kind of like sharp than a straight malt derived kind of sweetness. It actually smells really great. There is a like a hefty barrel aging component to it, but it doesn't come off as like a booziness or a bigness or anything like that. It comes off as more of a, a fattening with a wideness, a richness, a wider berth of the beer, as opposed to just being like, this is going to be huge and impactful. It comes off as like, oh, this beer has become more, for lack of a better term, wider, fatter, richer, denser, darker, those kind of things. So it has a lot of different kind of like DNA to it. Barley wine, stout, quad, barrel. But this is quite a bit closer to what I personally would like associate a barrel aged quad with as opposed to just a barrel aged beer with. I'm just going to dive in. Cheers. Sir. It's a sharpness to it on the end. Like a lot of times when I drink like like a Fodor lager or a dry hop lager, <clears throat> I usually talk about this like it lacks this snappiness that 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 um that crispiness that everybody talks about when it comes to a lager, but it finishes quick. No, it, it lacks that ultra snappiness, but. But in the end, you can kind of, you, you can tell, you can kind of tell it's a lager because it finishes real quick. This is like the opposite of that. You get this fullness. Sorry. My camera acted up there, but you caught it right when it happened. So. Um, but it, it like, it has the opposite going on. It has this richness, this fullness, all the things you associate with like a Belgian barrel aged Belgian quad, but it finishes sharper. And I think that's actually that spiciness I was talking about and, and that Armand or out of the beer that I was referencing at the beginning. I think there is that kind of little spicy kind of Ricola kind of Jägermeister thing in there. It's been much more subdued. It's not nearly as aggressive as it was, but it just has this little bit of sharp finish to it to where it's a little bit more kind of like snaps you out of that soft Belgian fluffy funk or fluffy goodness that you'd come to expect. Really fun beer. Let's put it this way. That, that, that uh, Amand or Amadi, I keep saying Amand, I don't know why, it was fun. I wouldn't call it a Belgian quad. I wouldn't even call it like very heavily Belgian influence. It's just a fun, dark beer. This seems a little bit closer to that. Now, more, more often, no, not more often than not, chances are this is that beer. And the barrel aging has just brought it a little bit closer to what Belgian beers could be. But this is a tastier beer, a funner beer. There's something about it. It kind of tickles me pink. I dig it. I think it's fun. And um, would I call it like a barrel aged Belgian? Mm -hmm. An Americanized version, obviously. But it comes off a little bit more like a blended beer for me. It reminds me very much of like, and not necessarily as far as impact and taste, but kind of akin to some of the Jackie O's stuff. They used to come out when they used to do a lot of like blended beers, whether it be like blended stout with a barley wine or a quad with a barley wine, and those kind of beers. And that's where this kind of uh, lands for me. And honestly, you know, Jackie O's barrel age program was, was, could still be, I haven't had one in many years, but um, it was one of the best in the country. So, yeah, fun stuff, tasty stuff. I dig it. So, there you go. Thank you very much, Sean, for sending this off. And thank you very much, Stephen, for sending off the original. So I have a little bit of frame of reference. So let's talk about it. Treehouse, have you had any of their beers lately? Have you been in the brewery or any of their several hundred satellite locations? Have you had this particular beer? Yeah. Have you had the sweet, delicious 
Barrel Age Quad by the name of Normand that came out in 2022. Have you had it? What did you think of it? Have you had the original, or what I assume is the original, um, that uh, Amity, and what were your thoughts on both of those? Because that's a cool conversation to have down there. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Barrel Age hopefulness right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers, all.